good day this video is for all atm engineers that specializes on winkor nisdorf or dibode nisdorf now today i'm going to teach us how to set a routing disk in a stacker i guess before you become an engineer you should have known what is called a stacker a stacker is like the main engine for the atm for the dispenser now i'm going to touch some few components what i'm touching right now is called the routing disk the routing disk the routing disk what i'm also touching right now is a plastic that covers the the rigid bin sensor now this is a routing disk motor this is a solenoid this has an it's a sensor called the, the, the it used to call zero two four okay this used to turn the whole dispenser frame now going further all these wires are for special purposes this causes zero to zero this is the clamp belt so each of these wire by the time we go along i will teach you what each and every one of them stands for what they can do all of them have special purposes this is another solenoid this is a belt there's another sensor there it stacker wheel sensor now this is called a stacker wheel this is called a stacker wheel now this my stacker wheel is very bad although in another tutorial i'll teach you how to fix how to repair a stacker wheel but on this one we are just going to learn how to rotate the routing disk okay this is the single reject compartment it's a single reject compartment later i'll teach you the function of a single reject compartment this is a sponge roller a sponge roller so this is a routing disk now we're going to learn how to lose a routing disk and to set it properly if you don't set it properly your clamp will not move well now we are losing the routing disk losing the routing disk yes the routing disk have two sides the left and the right hand side both of them are not the same okay if you see now i can't remove this routing disk because of this plastic block in it now i have to remove this plastic i'm removing the plastic okay this is the routing disk this is a routing disk the left of a routing disk so if you check this one the mouth is round the other one is not round that's the difference you can you can you can use two of them you can you can alternate them they are different so this is called a dps sensor dps sensor it has two dps sensor most times they are dirty and you will need to clean them so i'm cleaning the dps sensor if the dps sensor is dirty and the the, the it will cause the routing this not to be moving properly thereby causing your clamp to hang if you watch closely you see that this side that has a groove it must rhyme with the other part that has a rough edge these rough edges it must rhyme with these rough edges the two of them must rhyme that stuff i'm moving now is going to be down you will use one of your finger one of your finger to place it downward then try to put this in in a way that this this particular one will rhyme as you can see it's not rhyming properly if it's not rhyming properly you have to bring it out and set it again bring it out try to yes try to manage put it yes yes if you see now it's rhyming it's rhyming 100 percent it's rhyming 100 percent that rough edge is rhyming if you turn come back you see that it's rhyming as it's rhyming means that you have set it properly if it's not rhyming you can try it up to 20 times make sure that it's rhyming perfectly once it's rhyming perfectly you have gotten the setting remember it's only that direction it's not the other way around now let me couple this routing disk just put that put the screw use your screwdriver to tighten it you normally use this allen key every most most of the screws in the stacker are allen screws so you need to use allen key to lose them or allen screwdriver so i'm losing the right hand side on as you can see it's a little bit different from that left hand side on it's a little bit different so you can alternate it so you have to use a screwdriver flat pull it out a bit yes that's what hooks that routing disk so the routing disk is out this is the right hand side this black side if it's not if it's not properly okay you have to tighten it more to the white side so <clears throat> okay
que as you can see there are also dps sensor two dps sensor in there yeah so that 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 that's it that's how to lose a, a, a rotten disk so we are going to see how to tight how to set this rotten disk we are going to do exactly the same thing we did before if you see now that the mount is different from the other one the other one is circle this one is not exactly like circle so it cannot rhyme with the other one so you can't alternate it that's the difference you can't alternate it so this is the right hand side on clean always remember use your brush and clean the dps sensor use your brush and clean the dps sensor you can also blow it you can use your blower if you have blower so okay put it exactly if it's not remember one of your finger will be holding that plastic down that white plastic down one of your finger will hold it down then you fix it that's that that's how to fix it it's very simple it's very simple then you have to tie this thing back i'm tightening it i'm trying to tighten it back yes okay so it's not it's not to put the screw okay I'm fixing the screw and tightening the screw back. Yes, that's basically how to set a routing disk. Once you can set the routing disk properly, you, you won't have clamp issues. Your clamp will be moving properly. Now we, we want to put this plastic back. This plastic just covers that sensor. If it's not there, it will work, but it's just to cover that sensor so that the sensor will not pull out with ease. So just try to place it there try to you you see that there are holes on that metal it must run the hooks on this plastic it's very simple you fix it back it's very simple another day we will learn how to work on the stacker way how to how to do a lot of things if you need more videos contact me on my email at my video pro online at gmail.com so this is a dps sensor i'm cleaning right now it's a dps sensor it used to show error two four if it's not properly fixed or if it's dirty it, it gives you error 24 so whenever you are seeing error 24 go straight and look at that sensor you will see that that sensor is either is dirty or that plastic over there is not clipping properly or something or a wire is hooking it that's basically what you show error 24 so many people don't know what's error 24 so this is error 24 for you so once you know how to remove this plastic it's very simple to fix back you have to hook it back to that solenoid once it's back, it can. It, once it's springing properly, it's okay. It must move front and back properly. If something is hooking it, then it's not okay. You have error two four. So that's it. So thank you for watching this video, and I wish you all the best in your quest to become a more prolific and professional engineer.